Dear students good morning. How are you? I am your science teacher from Pakistan International School Doha Qatar. In the previous lecture we have completed exercise questions 4 and the first unit work and energy. Today we will solve remaining exercise questions of this unit. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to solve all exercise questions. Write the answers of all reasoning questions on their notebook. Exercise. Page number 14. Question number 6. The list below gives some energy converters. Race horse, high jumper, electric kettle, iPod, bicycle brakes. Which of these converts? Part 1. Chemical energy into kinetic energy. Its answer is, race horse, converts chemical energy into kinetic energy. Part 2. Chemical energy into gravitational potential energy. Its answer is, high jumper, converts chemical energy into gravitational potential energy. Part 3. Kinetic energy into thermal or heat energy. Its answer is, bicycle brakes, convert kinetic energy into thermal or heat energy. Part 4. Electrical energy into thermal or heat energy. Its answer is, electric kettle, converts electrical energy into thermal or heat energy. Part 5. Electrical energy into sound energy. Its answer is, iPod, converts electrical energy into sound energy. Question number 7. A car is traveling along a straight road at a speed of 50 km per hour. The car stops to pick up some passengers, then resumes its journey at the same speed. Part 1. What two things affect the kinetic energy of the car as it travels along the road? Its answer is, as kinetic energy depends upon both the speed and mass of an object. Therefore speed and mass of the car affect the kinetic energy of the car. Part 2. What effect will the additional passengers have on the kinetic energy of the car? Its answer is, as kinetic energy depends upon the mass of an object, due to additional passengers, the mass of the car will increase and this will increase the kinetic energy of the car as well. Part 3. Explain why a car traveling at high speed could cause more damage than a car traveling more slowly. Its answer is, as kinetic energy depends upon the speed of an object. The car traveling at high speed will cause more damage, because it has more kinetic energy than a car traveling more slowly. Homework. Dear students, Write down all parts of question number 6 and 7 on your notebook. Our first unit work and energy has been completed now. I hope you have understood all topics of this unit. In our next lecture, we will start our new unit number 7, Electricity and Energy. Thank you and goodbye.